So I've been looking all over the place trying to find one of these um, Seven Gypsies spinner things. And because Seven Gypsies no longer makes products, they've uh, gone out of business or something, I really hope someone picks up this idea and makes them some more. But I looked on eBay, Amazon, tons of different places and nobody is selling them. They are being hoarded, coveted, whatever. Or, well, actually, I'm coveting. Someone's hoarding, and I would love one, but I can't find any. Um, I have these cards that I bought. It has the cutout. I even have the punch somewhere that cuts this little shape so I can add more. And I have the little manila tab folder kind of things that are in red that make great little dividers. And I started thinking about the arc system stuff. I have these I got from somewhere. This is 4A. Similar system. And their little discs work very similarly to the um, contraption that is probably on this holder. It's a metal metal, you can't see very well in this picture, but there's a metal disc thing here and there's one at the bottom. So I started thinking, how could I come up with something so that I can utilize all these fun products that I have that were supposed to go on that holder that I can't find. So in thinking of that, because I know this is going to be way too small to accomplish anything fun, I went over to Hobby Lobby this morning and I picked up these. This is their Create 365 um, planner system they've come up with and I do have one of the planners but I have them in the rings in gold and I did test this to see if it would work the way I hoped. And so there's the nice disc and the disc fits on the papers and I might have to do a little bit of finagling with these slots to make them where they are a little bit more snug. But we're going to go with this for now. The only problem with these is the center of them is a heart. So I need to do some modifying on those, which I will use my Dremel. I got these big dowels. These are uh, 3 quarters of an inch by 12 inch long. And I am going to use my... Uh, coping saw. If I can get this packet open to show you one of these. Right. I'm going to take my Dremel and make this whole the correct circle. And yep, that should work really well. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but you put the dowel over the space that's the heart, you're not really having a whole lot of excess. And it doesn't really matter if it slides up and down because the little um, tabs on these cards are going to keep those discs at the height they need to be. So I obviously need one that's going to be about that height. And then I also need one about that height. So I can actually get two, two different sized holders from each dowel. So I might make an extra for a friend, um, or to save those dowels for future use. So we're going to do that. Now, of course, the original, here's another one being used with the stamps, has this pretty topper, and of course it has a base. Well, my solution for that is, I've got those, and those, and that. And those. And I couldn't pass up this bottle of pretty paint. Um, so I'm going to, if this isn't big enough, I'll, I'll get up another one. I'm hoping this is plenty. I don't see it needing to be too terribly wide. So if you take that and This one is a 
two inch circle. This next one is a one and a half. And then the next one is a one and one inch. So if I stack those like that and use some Gorilla Glue, once I've cut my dowel, it will fit on there like the so. Get you. So I have a nice little stacked portion for the base. And then the top will need something pretty. So I thought I could take one of these and another one of these and have the top like that. In fact, I could probably even add maybe another one of those. So once I've gotten these um, discs onto the dowel, they do not need to be removed. Yeah, I think I like that. Maybe. Just something up there to stop this from popping off, which this one here would probably be sufficient. So we'll see when I get to that point, if I, I add that third piece. So I'm going to get started on this, and I will come back when I have completed constructing the whole system, and then we'll talk about paint. So, see you in the next section. Alright, I finished the first step, I'm gluing all these things together and cutting the holes in the discs. So this is what was originally there, and you can't see the circle, but it's obviously a circle or it wouldn't fit on this dowel. Um, I decided that them flopping around wherever they wanted to be was irritating because it didn't allow the little uh, pages to stay on there nicely. So I have fixed them where I want them to stay. Let me get one of these pages on here real quick. And by doing that, obviously you're not going to be able to see as well, um, it, it supports it better and they don't get all twisted and weird. And that way I can flip them nicely once I have things on the cards. Now to get those to stay, I added um, zip ties one above and below, and I use clear, that way I can paint over it. And they're not so tight that the little discs can't spin, but I could probably, you know, squish them together a little bit more to stop them from spinning. The spinning's not a big a deal. My concern is whether or not they shift up and down. So that's the big card one. Here's the little card one. So, see how nice it stays exactly where I want it? I think I can do a little bit of adjusting on the bigger one and this will stay, it'll stay even more, more so, but um, that way they're not getting, you know, droopy and stuff. So my next, oh, and then I, I attached the dowels to these discs like I had mentioned. I did decide to go with the smaller disc and then the larger disc for the top. Let me show you on the smaller one just because it's easier. And that way it looks more finished up there rather than something missing. So my next step on this is going to be to paint it. Now I thought using... Since the original is a silver uh, chrome kind of metal I thought it might be fun to use my Peacock Pearl Deco Art metallic uh, paint. And I also had considered maybe using the multi surface satin in. Mm, what color is this supposed to be? Turquoise. True turquoise. So maybe I'll do a layer of the satin and then come back and do some highlights with the metallic and if I don't like the way that looks just go over the whole entire thing with the metallic. So once I've got all these parts painted I will be back and we'll see how it looks. Alright so I've got some of the painting done. I just want to show you the difference between the two. This one here has the metallic on it and this one does not. So as you can see there's the neat little bit of shimmer I think that turned out really nice. And 
I don't mind that it's not like a perfect coating, as you can see right here. Kind of gives it a bit of a distressed look in there. So I think that's going to work out really nice. And then, as you can see here, we've got the little cards. Let me fit on there perfectly without a bunch of flapping around. So I will fill that one up with my ATCs. And obviously I still have a coating of paint to put on this one, but... And there we go for that one. So I hope you enjoyed following along with my uh, project as I worked on it. And I will put pictures up of the final on my Twitter and Instagram. So you can check those out there. I do have links for both of those in my uh, About section of the YouTube page. So if you are new uh, to viewing my videos, please like and subscribe. Uh, feel free to comment with any questions you may have. And I hope you stay tuned for my next set of videos. Take care. Bye.